Just giggle for a minute, stretching one side, perfect, and then the other side. And all we're doing is offsetting that balance. There we go. Loading those ligaments either side of the knee. That's perfect. But we've got to work within your rep range, mate. At the end of the day, this is where you're at. I can see straight away the weight is loading. Can you feel it? Yeah, I can feel it on that knee. Really badly. <laughs> it might be that for now, because that leaves damage, we move that a little bit further and you can get a little bit more on one side, just for the time being. That's it. It's crazy when you see Spider-Man do it. <laughs> That's it. Well, nice, that's perfect. Like. Take it's perfect. See, it. load it on that one leg. Brilliant. Perfect. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna do like the pad drill too. Yeah. Um, so. We have shot hand stance, again, you get into the horse stance to get into it. We're just going to relax this hand and just keep this Dutch. Yeah. The actual stance itself is like this, um, but this one would be clenched. Yeah. But I find that you're very vulnerable for a round ass kick or a hook. And this is useless for a jab, in my opinion, yeah. unless you're driving it and driving it and driving it. So I take that, bring it Dutch. I take that, just relax it, so yeah. I can drive upwards. Um, so from here, we're going to do a front kick, which you're going to just lean backwards over so slightly, kick, Make sure, make sure you just kind of step forward for your knock bounce. Which from there, this is going to hold onto there. You're going to turn and drive up yeah. with the first punch. Then Dutch, so this, this hand's back here. Dutch, yeah. which from there, this one is going to drive back to here. And as it drives back, you're going to hit the round bounce. Yeah. So this is nice and stable. Yeah. This is now back here. Okay, after the round bounce, we're then going to go chop, choy, and ginger boy. But obviously with this being here, we're going to have to bring it down. Go up. Yeah. Drop the center of gravity, bring it over. Yeah. to bring into the side kick. Then from there, land, pivot, you're going to step rather than bounce and bring yourself back. Okay? Unless you feel comfortable bouncing, it's up to you. But there's a lot more happening with the hands than if it was Dutch. So, um, so it's a guard up, that can go anywhere. Yeah. So, it's to you. so you're just going to ever slightly lean body weight back and just kick. Okay, perfect. So from there, this is going to drive up, bang. Go into Dutch as you're going across, normal, that's it. From there, this is going to swing back. Perfect. It's nice for a round to swing back to you. Yeah. Okay, then you're going to go chop choy. That's it. Bring it around. Ginger boy. Step side kick. Perfect. Pivot. Bounce back. Perfect. You do bounce a lot better in this stance. A lot, lot better. I think your legs are already engaged, whereas here, it's quite a lazy stance. Yeah. Whereas there, you, all this is engaged. Yeah, yeah, you're not here for a difference. Like, what's the muscles there? Like, yeah. yeah, let's go. Yeah, they're ready to just explode. So you bounce back. I'm literally spinning off. Yeah. So, so you just see push it off with one leg rather than both, which is a lot better. Let's get push off the back. Uh, Show me the front legs, yeah? No, I'll push off the back. Right, okay, so you want to be pushing off the front to drive backwards. That's it. Because I'm going, I'm literally going lift, push. Yeah, so yeah, that's putting you off balance. So you want to be pushing off the front, lift that front leg. Lift the front up, yep, yeah. uh, back leg, sorry, lift that back leg, and push off the front leg. That's it. That doesn't feel good. So you go from there, natural. you lift the front leg, pivot, from there, this is loose, push. Because as you're pivoting, that foot's already planted. Yeah. So we're going to use that foot that's planted, keep it planted, and push off it. No. Okay. Your way. Yeah, we're fighting water. <laughs> So imagine when you're doing the stance bouncing, if you're pushing to go forward, back leg. If you're pushing to go backwards, front leg. And essentially it's exactly the same. So when you're pushing to bounce, that's it. It looked good, no, it just didn't feel good. Back leg again. Oh, was it? I skip, skip. That's really weird, because it looks right. Skip. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least you've been honest. It looked right from where I was at. So it's a bit of push. That's it. That feels really awkward. Yeah, it will really be a little awkward. bit. It's from there, so this one's the one that's going. Yeah. This is loose. Push. Okay, you can push off the back as well. You can push off the of both if you want to. It's not a problem. If you push off the back like this, it's just a little bit unstable. You reckon? Yeah, ideally, because you're, you're you're throwing your body weight over the leg. You're almost. I mean, you look stable as hell, but you're <laughs> so. You're almost. 
tried to describe the growth through my head. Yeah. So I'm literally pulling my body yeah. up this yeah. way. And I'm pushing with that one. If it works, it works. So it's literally... So it's supposed to be a derivation of the stance bounce. So if you're stance bouncing, you're pushing forward, pushing backwards. Yeah. Pushing forward. So as I'm pushing forward, it's the back leg. This one's not moving. As I'm pushing backwards, it's the front leg. So essentially, it's supposed to be a derivation of that. Yeah. So as you're pivoting, you're pushing like a stance bounce. But the front leg should be. <laughs> front kick. That's it. In there. Cross. Yeah. That's it, jab, and then roundhouse. Roundhouse. That's it. Yeah. Step side kick, that's it. So pivot, around, push. That's right. it. Push off the back leg. Okay. You can see actually, so when you did do it, because I'm at a different angle, as you push off the back leg, your legs go together and then they go apart. Yeah. Whereas as I push off the front leg, both legs stay about the same. Yeah. yeah that's what you're I'm kind saying. of I'm doing good. this motion. That's what I said. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So the problem is with both feet coming together, if at any time someone touches you then, very, very off balance. Um, taekwondo is a fucker for it because they would their step side here, where we would step to go there to hit. Yeah. They would step through to hit. Yeah. But I've had so many people in taekwondo that step through like that, and as they've done it, I've just ran off, kicked them. Yeah. You catch it. And they've just got push. Yeah. Because they're right in the wrong place. So, but that's that's what they do. They do a step through cycle. Yeah. But I was like, if I'm going to do a step through, I would pendulum that in. Yeah. Pendulum out. I wouldn't do this. Okay, you're going to generate more power because you're covering more distance. But as soon as you get from there to there, you're balanced. Yeah. So let's try. Let's just try and drill five good ones. So it'll be nice and low. Again, don't matter where the hand is. Very feels comfortable. So front kick. So, so that one, that one, that one. Then you're going to drive that back. So that feels nice as a roundhouse. Yeah, that's great. That's lovely. And there you go. That feels yeah. good. So pivot. That's it. Bounce back. Okay. So do it your way. Step. Step right, around the Because I don't want you to go out. I can see what you mean. You push off the back. Yeah. Both legs are coming together to then go apart. Yeah. Which, if your legs are going to come together, I'd rather you step. Then I'm literally jump. Click your heels together. Yeah. So <laughs> you look like that guy. So he goes, right, ah. Yeah, 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 I'm off the ground anyway. Yeah. But. Yeah. So yeah, you got. So let's work on the hand movement as well, because it's just not quite right. So wherever you want the hand, up there, doesn't matter. Okay, so from there, front kick, bang, set forward, drive up, okay, straight to guard as that one comes, straight to guard as that one comes. Roundhouse kick, bring that round, perfect, keep that one planted, okay. Chop choy, sorry, oh, yeah, yeah. round, chop choy, ginger boy, that's it, step side kick. And as you do step side kick, you put your hand in your pocket. So as you do step side kick, go ginger boy, step side kick, bring it back to guard as you yeah. step side. So you're using that motion as you're going that way. Yeah, so you're going to do your chop choy, ginger boy, that's it, and back round. So now you're going to drive it back to your Dutch guard as your psychic. Perfect. Because you're completely shielded. That's it, that's it. Hands look lovely. Perfect, hands look lovely. Yeah. So as you pivoted then, you went from, from that motion into your step psychic where you went in, bang, landed, so you guarded. Yeah. And then as you pivoted out, you did exactly what I wanted, which was bring that hand yeah. from here back yeah. into that stance. Yeah. A lot of it's hand position. When we do long guard, it's totally different again. Lovely, this bit's beautiful. That's really good. Chop joy. Change your point. That's it. Drive it in. Bang. Perfect. Pivot. That's it. Turn. Beautiful. So defensively, there's not a single point where your arms are that I would be able to strike your face. Comfortably. Yeah. I, I, I could if I was quick enough, don't get me wrong. But like if you do it, just nice and slow. So as you go for the forward kick, okay, I can't really get you to that. You drive that up, I'm blocking it. Okay, there's not much I can do to get onto it. I take that, okay, you then chop joy. Ginger boy, which as you do a step side kick, even if I go over, I can't get you. Yeah. But then you pivot out to get completely out of the way, and you're keeping me at distance. Yeah. So even if I come driving at you, um, there's not much distance. Do. Yeah. And that's the benefit with the shot cannon. It's like get away, get away, get away. But I'm going to attack you. Yeah. And that's why I like it because I find I just don't get hit like at all. It's no matter what position I'm in, I'm swapping it to kind of go no, no, no. Your arms length. Working off there too. Yeah. <laughs> it's those legs in it. <laughs> It's crazy how just a movement <coughs> can fuck you up. <coughs> yeah. That's it. So stance is good. Stance is lovely. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. So just do one. So you, you like it more like that, then relax. Yeah, well, every like, feels like good. Ready to go. Yeah, it's perfect. So you're kind of, you can go down and up. I, I like yeah. it relaxed, so I go right up. Yeah. I, I just I just prefer that. Also, it's I'm lazy. <laughs> That's it. Nice. Drive up. Bang. Uh, that's it. Perfect. 
So chop joint perfect, chin joint perfect. That's it. Pivot it out. Long arm. There we go. Bounce backwards. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The upper body. Perfect. There was one little bit that moved. So as you went, you went drive up. Yeah. You went over. You protected the nipple for some reason. Instead of coming back yeah, to the chin. Rather than coming back yeah. to the chin. But that's fine. Yeah. So in traditional martial arts, our guard would be there. And we would yeah. drive up to bring it back to base. Yeah. But obviously as you adapt it to fighting, you want to start protecting the face a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so you get hit on the bottom, just to go get hit on the face. That's kind yeah. of like, kind of you kind of you're seeing stars. Um, yeah. Right, one more, then we take a breather. Right. And then we'll go again, um, and then we'll go into long arm. Even if we don't hit pads today, we'll just do this, it's fine. That's it, nice. So drive it, fine. So you go, so it went straight back to there. Yeah. Which is fine, for a, for a kata. That's it. Fine, right. straight to Dutch guard, there you go. Okay. Nice. Okay, chop joy, ginger boy, drive that hand in. That's it, turn, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so again, it's just that one last part. Tasman, we're busy. It was that one, we're playing what? Tasman's doing his well, and the dog. Um, so it was that one part where you went from there to forward kick. You then found yourself driving up, because you was already out. Yeah. So if you're going to start there, yeah. as you forward kick, drive it back before back it lands. Yeah. Okay? So you so just. It's almost a case of. Yeah. So you've almost added an extra move in, if that makes sense. Take your sides, you put, kick it. Yeah. But it's also allowing it to take a drive. So if you're at a long guard, you haven't got much to move yeah. for a jab. So even if you start at a long guard, and as you do your kick, you just draw it a little bit. Yeah. And then pop it forward. That's absolutely fine. But you've got to draw it at some point. And what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't go kick, draw it, draw it, and then do it. Because yeah. you're still going to see it. You want to disguise that. Sit. Nice. Bang. 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 Beautiful. Round up, it's nice. Chop choy, ginger boy. Side get good. Pivot out, hand out. There we go. Go backwards. Really good. Really good. Was that off the back leg again? Yeah, it was off the back leg. Yeah. It looked good. It looked